Whoa, it's Woolsey. This is my alt account, Dan's Woman. Welcome back to the co-op building series, Level Swap. Today I'm joined by Kuluk. Hello. Highly requested person on the series right here. <laughs> Welcome, Kuluk, to Level Swap Mega Collab. We both start new levels, but every 20 minutes we swap over. I'm trying out something new, which is that the level will be continued in the next level swap. So after a bunch of episodes, we'll have two full levels. We're gonna have three turns on each level, so there are six total time slots, and we're both recording, so make sure that you catch the other point of view as well. Well, one take. One take, Wolsey. Easy. Anything else you want to say before we start? I have no idea how I'm going to build quickly. <laughs> oh, boy. Let's, let's just let's just jump in. Let's just jump in. Ah! 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 Oh, my God. Okay, we're using a Sonavision Deluxe song for this video. Creation through existence. This is a pretty nice starting point for a level because I get a few seconds leeway at the beginning with some sort of glowy transition with this sound right here. Probably gonna put that as a two times mini cube that goes along the ground. I'll probably put a couple of slopes in there just so there's like a little hop, skip and a jump towards the beginning. Nice. There's gonna be a size portal and then a speed portal and these are gonna have groups two and three which are gonna fade on. Point two fade time to full for each. Then that's gonna lead on to a yellow pad. I guess this can also fade on. I kinda didn't think about that. It's gonna have a slightly shorter fade time because it's more important than the portals and stuff. I'm gonna try and make these structures quite sleek and long instead of just being boxes like normal. Although I guess I could move this out a little bit and have a jump on the end for the sink. It's gonna be very interesting to apply the level swap concept to an actual full level. So again, I'm trying to keep these structures nice and long. I'm gonna have to use a lot of spikes for that, but I think it's worth it. I'm gonna do the stylistic choice of raising them off the block a little bit. Except these spikes just aren't the same. I don't know why. I'm gonna have to move them up a little bit extra. I'm gonna keep the first few jumps pretty easy and then lead on to a slightly faster mini cube. It's definitely gonna pick up the pace a bit. Okay, so we have blue orbs that are split up by a fake yellow. I'm gonna actually lead onto a yellow after having a fake of it. Okay, I think that's cool and then we can have a block right here that stops you from jumping maybe hold on remember i want to keep the structures long so maybe we could extend that platform out and have another blue orb there i'm trying something new with this that i haven't really done before with the whole structuring i wonder if i could put another slab right here extend this block out put more flat spikes and then put an orb like there maybe and put a huge j block to stop you from holding that input and dying to the spikes there like that and then lead into a ship but i'm gonna do the portal trick where you set it to a group and you move it up to keep the boundaries close to the ground because I hate it when the boundaries get lifted to an awkward level down here. I'm racking my brains pretty hard to get this long structuring to work, dude. Oh god, now I'm panicking because I'm starting to run out of time a little bit. I like this quite a lot as a level because it starts off nice and slowly and then when you really hear the drums come in, it kicks off. It's like a nice transition. We could have a text card or something that says Coluk or whatever the level name is going to be. Okay, that is round one completely done. Oh wow, that went by fast. It did. <laughs> You'll see that structuring and gameplay is not exactly my strong suit. <laughs> so this is what I'm going to be working with for the first episode of Level Swap Mega Club. With a Creo song, we can dream. Oh, so you're like a pro. I see. I'm a what? <laughs> no, this is neat. I like it. I... I'm ready. I don't know about you, but I'm pretty confident. I think I'm ready. I kind of feel like using the black clouds right here, a little bit disproportional in size like that, and just kind of rooting these together. So on B4, don't fade, don't enter. I'm just going to rotate these little clouds. I'll probably put them on like low opacity or something. Maybe even less, like a 0.35 or something. Okay. And then we can copy paste them with full opacity, but much smaller on a 0.65 scale, something down there to kind of bunch it up and make it a bit more layered. So that's like a little underlay thing. And then we can can add maybe some glow pieces on top. We need to commit to some colors immediately, otherwise this is just gonna be completely lifeless. And I don't wanna hand all of the coloring over to Kuluk. So maybe if we have like a light yellow with a blending piece on top that can have a group. And this all needs to be on B3, don't fade, don't enter. So it doesn't go above any other details that we're gonna add, but it goes on top of the clouds. So I'm gonna make some alpha changes for group number three. <laughs> There we go. We have our little flicker to the glow and we can start adding these on editor layer three to the insides of these blocks with different scales and stuff. And we're probably going to link this together with some sort of line. It's pretty awesome to get a work with Kuluk because he is pretty artsy. More artsy than I think anyone that's been on this series before. There we go. So now I wonder, can I join these up with little objects like these? Maybe scaled down a bit, pushed onto themselves. Let's say we stick with this color, right? If I make it a bit darker, we can probably make a background blending of some sort with a bit more brightness. There, that might not be bad. 
Nice. Okay, that's going to be very useful to copy-paste. Okay, so we can definitely use these for other pillar decoration on low opacity if we scale them up with scale hack. Maybe if I add a little slab with black base and the blending detail up here. There we go. We have ourselves a little structure, albeit there's no actual design here. I do kind of like these little slabs down there. And obviously, we can copy the value of these clouds and add some gradients too. There we go. We have a gradient piece with little corner pieces on the ends just so if it scales up above the block it doesn't just cut off there we go that adds a little bit more shading to the block and we can add it like around the structures i guess just to make it feel a bit more luminous nice okay for the end of my turn on this level i am going to add some pulses to the background to make it a bit more saturated and a bit brighter i'm looking at the duration lines and making sure that each trigger ends before the next one starts then i'm going to copy all of these triggers move them half a block to the left and make the yellow pulse a bit more saturated and bright too. Okay, this should be good for round one. I haven't done too much, but I feel like it's a good starting point. And the slopes are still bugged. Nice. Alrighty. Wait, that was way too fast. I just made a background. Very interested to see what I'm about to receive. W2. <laughs> what? How? <laughs> what? No way. I There's was, no shot. Dude, I was kind of losing my mind trying to build that as fast as I could. I like the colors you've got. I love purple and gold. I got my work cut out for me. You got this, man. You got this. Good luck, Kuluk, once Thank again. You. We gotta go crazy right now. I'm gonna create some, like, jagged edges to the blocks, I guess, using scaled up squares. I guess these little lines can be used, and I can give them different groups, and I'm gonna use black blending for their base color and blending makes it so that I have to put it a whole Z layer above and I'm probably just going to copy paste increase the group number and then free move these down into the right place let's create pulses for these objects starting with group 9 we can have a 0 0.05 and 1 light blue pulse and then we need to go through every single group number which is pretty simple optimization can come later oh no 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 these objects cannot go behind the glow that's just not acceptable what layer is that glow Whoa, that's crazy. Something I can do is increase the opacity of the glow that Kulik has used. I'm gonna try and make it like 0.9 or something. Not quite full, but I could just kind of increase the exposure of that glow real quick. And then I think the trees are using color 10 black. Yes, they are. I think the black could look pretty funky if it's boosted to like a dark blue. Now I'll probably just increase the fade time a lot to exit. Okay, so there's a decent start. We got some edges to the blocks, and I'm probably going to create like a weird looking rotating object, reusing the same groups that I did earlier. I think it started with eight. No, it started with nine. My my bad. So these are going to be on black blending to start off with, just like everything else. And then I'm going to rotate, I think, 45 degrees and then use not the next free. It needs to be the next group up. I'm trying to create like a weird patchy spiral looking thing. I'm going to make sure that the saw follows the same pulses as all the other black objects, how it goes to a light blue. Nice. I'm probably also going to put some light blue glow that's on one of those pulsing groups as well. Maybe 20 or something. There we go. It kind of matches some of the pulses as well, so it fits. And then I'll probably add some actual black glow behind it that kind of differentiates it from everything else. This big saw can go in a few spots. I'll probably link it to the ground with some other decoration. Like right here, I can make some light blue lines behind it at the bottom of B3 with don't fade, don't enter. And they're just going to kind of be rotated onto themselves. So it's just a weird little mesh. I feel like it would make more sense if it was the dark black. Maybe I could go on the layer behind and get the light blue in that way like that yeah that looks better I tell you what that neon blue can be black until this point right here where it starts fading on and at that point it can be pulsing down to black and i want to do that because i feel like the light blue is way too bright in context to like the dark background so just started work on the club step boss near the end and did like a quick <laughs> glow effect with the ship transition okay oh <laughs> Like mixing themes now it's like a mix of like tech and uh like nature it's interesting you need some love and care for <laughs> you outplayed me that round by a lot we're good, three we're good, we're good. two yeah. Oh, well, you do it Go. then. Okay. I'm making each color pulse to black. So we got like a cool glowy look to it. See, it's not doomed, right? I knew what I was doing. So we got like a purple and gold thing going on. I'm going to copy the middle pulse and make that go to white. Why not? We had a white pulse in the beginning. It kind of worked. So I'm going to do it again. Why the hell not? Oh, that kind of... That's weird. That's so weird. That's going to have its fade times change. Oh, yeah. That's the one. Okay. So I'm going to copy the values of these little objects. 
effects that I made. And I'm probably going to look for some sort of animated object and then bring it in the foreground a little bit on top of the orbs and stuff. And a little shiny object, because why not? That looks fine to me if I change the rotation speed on the shine. Let me see if I can make a background for the ship part using these huge pulsing circles. They're going to be even huger in a second. If I have this on like half opacity and a new moving group six on B4, on the kind of bronze that he's got, we lock that to the X axis. Then I'm copy pasting and decreasing the scale by 0.5 each time. Okay, maybe not that color. That color kind of stinks. We don't have a purple blending. Okay, we're going to use the next three and we're going to copy color channel 22 with blending because that looks like quite a nice purple. So we're just letting the animated object do all the work and scale hack, of course. Don't forget scale hack. Shout out to scale hack for this. And this should make it so the inner circle is super bright because of how the blending stacks all of the brightness together. There we go. That looks sick in my opinion. Oh, damn. I added a pulse to that that goes every couple of seconds and that makes it go crazy in its color. That's sick. Wow. Okay, with some hue changes, I'm probably just going to add some arrows in at the beginning. Probably going to add some weird fire to these if I can. Just to add a little bit of spice to these and make it a bit less, I don't know, regular, I guess. Let me see if I can stack this object as well and make it look a bit cooler with a bit of flipping and stuff. I'll add a few little spikes down there as well. Scale it up as a collective. I wonder if I could use this object as a design really quickly using the same colors that he did, 15 and 16, and then maybe adding some glow underneath. Something like that, because it looks pretty cool, right? Ah, it looks bad when the circle's there. That sucks. I got hey. some ideas for you. Uh, Let's we'll see where they go. I think I've got the beginnings of a cool level ready. The beginnings, yeah, but it's round four and there's two rounds left. <laughs> w4. I'm excited to see this. Damn. What? I don't know how to work with this, but it sure as hell looks good. I think it'd be cool if it was almost like cyberpunk stuff, like poking out of the rock. I will see you soon. Ah! Easy peasy. This is in the bag. So in an emergency crisis, I am reusing some of the groups from earlier and putting it into a design because honestly, I don't know how to do the rock thing. So my idea is to just mix the rocks with like regular blocks. I think it's going to look pretty good. If I can remember what color channels what, that would be helpful. Thank you. Okay, we got something going there. We got the white outline, which is going to contrast that pretty weirdly, but it's going to be funny. We got the T1 black glow behind. So these objects are just going to kind of be scaled and just sit there. This is like my main goal right now is to just get these blocks in as much as possible. Something else I got to focus on, the ground, because it's just super bland. There's no connection between the blocks and the ground. They're just flat. So I got to go into the chain tab and look for all sorts of grass and bushes. There we go. So that's all filled with like grass stuff that's going to be moving slowly. Okay, so the easiest way to do this is to lock it to the X axis which I've done over here and also move it towards the player. So you can see this is locked way in front of me, right? I now need a movement that's going to move it towards me right as the level begins. Hopefully I can get like a back out movement that moves at like 400 towards me. Okay, now in the ground and a little bit over some objects, I'm going to be adding some T2 black blending glow that has a couple of different groups that pulse again. Putting it up onto some blocks right now. Hopefully that's not going to be too messy, but I think it looks pretty cool how it kind of like glides around there. I've also targeted the background and the glow when the pulses start happening over here. And that makes it a whole other beast. Look at that. Okay, at the very beginning, I'm going to hide the player. I'm going to enable the trail. And I wonder if I could attach a particle to the player at this point. T1 or something, group 22, that locks to the X and Y axis. So it follows me all the way. Hmm, I'm disabling the trail. Let me scale this particle up by quite a lot. There we go. We could have that. And then 22 can start fading on right about here. Oh, of course, you can't fade a particle. Okay, we're gonna have to move it downwards below the level and then move it up, I guess. Oh, that looked sick. All right, that was a two second move time from the ground upwards about 40 blocks on an ease out. So it just shoots right in. That's a sick transition. What can I do with this? I don't know. I'm trying to make like a cool looking orb decoration, but it just looks kind of basic. There's all these rocks and I'm making like the most basic orb decorations you can possibly think of. Hmm. And then for the portals, maybe we could stack some of these also with differing degrees. This is what I'm going in with for the final round coming coming up in just a second. I think it's pretty decent. I have high hopes for this. Okay. Okay. How'd it go? Um, I think this 
could actually end up being a decent part. I'm just Go. relying on you. <laughs> That's the only catch. Yes, this is what I'm looking for. Yeah. Yes, dude. Oh, God. Oh, no. There's all of this to do. <laughs> yeah. Okay, so my first impression of this is that I need to give it all a group 12, which is going to be pulsed black until we actually get there. So it fades on there. If I have the background to do the same, if I just add a little bit more time on it. Let's copy this color of the background and make it fade right here. Boom. We're into the level. Nice. These slopes are not hype. What I'm going to do is set them to the blending and just leave them like that. Maybe spice them up a little bit with a bit of extra layering and that should do. I can hopefully select all of the objects in this block like that it makes the lighting inconsistent but i can then just kind of slap these in real quick and then i can just do the cloud thing there we go now that's a block isn't that crazy let's need to copy paste some stuff i made earlier with some invisible saws and a little bit of scaling so for the psh psh, i am going to make the level pulse to black very simple stuff i'm just gonna try pulsing the background to white at the same time which is really ambitious but i think it could be super climactic see if i can get on my wood kid stuff right now Let's go, that's sick. So my strat for this part is gonna be to copy the values of these blocks, paste them onto a bunch of T2 blocks that just sit here. So I got my ground spikes for free from Kuluk. Same strats as last time, I'm moving this very quickly towards the player upon entry. Okay, it's just a copy pasting job at this point. I'll be lying if I said that I wasn't panicking. What if I could just use the spikes again, to be honest? It's not a bad idea. It is gonna do the job, it looks like, oh God gonna make slight movements up and down for the bricks because they feel quite static when they're moving on the screen Just moving them a block up and down which is equivalent of 10 in the box there we go that's a bit better just continuing the blocks into the ball part not long until the finish now good lord my head's gone at this point like i am struggling to operate and we can add the spikes on top with their ridiculous glow i don't know hmm just gonna have to spam these saws like that i think that actually looks kind of cool right okay and then we we need some black glow behind these objects, I guess. To make this tie in somewhat, I don't know. It's not that I don't rock with what's there. It's just I'm struggling to work with it. Just gonna spam a bunch of these objects. I don't have time. I'm running out. I'm running out. I'm running out. Can I spam this up the sides? I don't know. If only I had more time, this could look super cool. But now it's super unoptimized and object spammy and ugh. I'm gonna write his name in this ball part right here with these objects. You see the plan, right? Wow. Okay. I go. It's in a state that's like yeah okay obviously we have more time this could use some polishing but i think this exactly works. i just wish there was more time because this genuinely has like potential like there's cool ideas but i had to kind of just sweep up at the end and just spam stuff everywhere yeah me too it's done now though <laughs> <laughs> yeah that was wow it's bittersweet it feels incomplete that's why i'm like yeah okay we got the fit no way mm. You actually finished it? It's yeah, I just spammed some atmospheric glow and copy pasted rocks for a while. Okay. Yeah, I think this is pretty impressive. This is it is, it is. Only should pay attention to the first ten seconds of both parts. Yeah, true. I love what you did with the ground, by the way. I think Thanks. that's I tried hype. to I tweaked the movement a bit to make it more of like a 3D effect. Yeah, it was a fun experiment. Experimental levels. <laughs> Thank you for watching this episode. The first episode of Level Swap Mega Club. What a mess. Yeah, yeah. It's only up from here, guys. Thank you very much for joining me mr Kulluk. of course thanks for having me check the links in the description watch Kulluk's side and have a good day